And so I just want to give you three quick things that I think that you need to do tonight as you get prepared. Tommy talks about what's next. He's going to talk to you guys about that. You're going to reach out to the people uh, in your different uh, divisions, and they're going to give you some information, give you some tools. But I want to help you uh, because five links, I, I don't need to build on what they're doing. They have a, a wonderful a blueprint, a wonderful uh, uh, tools that they can give you. I, I want to talk about you getting out of your way. So, th- so the first thing I think you need to do, uh, if you're going to really take advantage of this opportunity of a lifetime, first of all, you can't place limits you know, on yourself and what you can do. So this whole concept about 90 days, it's about going all in, all right? And so the first thing they're asking you to do is to increase your effort, all right? So I wrote a book, I don't know, I wrote a, my first book about two years ago, and the thing that really bothered me about writing my book, and I mean, the book took off, man. We sold 25,000 copies in less than a year in my garage. And we're not talking about the audio book. We're not talking about the electronic book. Like, we made over a little bit over a million dollars. And I was upset with myself because if you really chronicle my book, my book was my time in, in Huntsville, Alabama. So I wrote the book in 2000 and maybe 10, 2011. I left, I left Huntsville in 2003. I had been in Michigan for, for seven years. Nothing had changed. Story didn't change. Nothing changed. So what changed, E.T.? My effort changed. I had been talking about writing a book. I had been thinking about writing a book. You know what I'm saying? I had started the book, stopped the book, started the book, stopped the book. And one day I said, you know what? I'm quitting my job. I'm going to write this book. And I spent three months changed my life forever, changed my family's life. It has changed people's lives all over the country. Why? The first thing I did was all in. So my whole life, I have did everything. And then some of you, you got these dreams of being the next Tommy Felder. You got these dreams of going, you know, to the top. But the effort that you're putting forth is, I'm just going to be honest with you, is, is, is poor. You're giving like 70%. There's some of you that, you know, you got a full-time job. And I'm not suggesting you quit your job at all. That's not the suggestion I'm making. But I'm telling you, how do you expect to get with the man who's getting up every morning and grinding? The young lady that's putting in 10 hours. She's going through multiple calls, you know, trainings, listening to audio books, reading books, do, do, doing her own personal training, working in her own family. How do you expect to get what she has when you're putting like an hour or two hours into the day? Like, How do you expect to get what the people who are grinding are getting? So the first thing when they called me and said, yo, E.T., like, man, we the all-in concept, I'm like, yo, I got it. Look, I have talked to NBA teams and NFL teams, and you will be shocked when I ask in a room professional football players I asked how many of you guys are giving 120 percent and out of 53 guys one or two people raise their hand how many of you giving 90 percent about two or three guys how many of you giving 80 percent about five people raise their hand when I say how many of you giving 70 percent or less 85 percent in the room professional athletes people who are making millions of dollars are putting forth 70 percent when I go to the, some of the top institutions in this country and talk to students and ask, how many of you guys are giving 120%? And you will be shocked. When I travel the country, most people say 70 to 75%. And so I say to a team, you've lost like five games this year, all by three points or seven points. You mean to tell me you put forth 70%? If you would have put forth 85%, you probably would have won at least four out of those five games and positioned yourself better in the playoffs. And so the question that you have to ask yourself is in terms of effort, are you all in? Are you really all in? Are you putting forth 120%? And I guarantee if you put forth 120% for 90 straight days, man, you are going to see a world that you've never experienced, what you've never experienced before. So we're going to talk about specifically how you increase your effort. Because some of you, for real, you just like, E.T., I can't do it. On Monday, I'm pumped up. Tuesday, I'm pumped up. But on Wednesday, I got the blueprint. I, I bought, the, I, I, I bought uh, Thomas Felder's package. I've got it. But I, I'm not motivated. I can't, I can't stay motivated all day or all week. Like, by, by Wednesday, I'm burnt out. And, and I, don't, I don't know how to sustain this momentum. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm fired up on Monday, but after about 10 no's, after people call me and tell me this is a, a dumb idea, why did you invest your money? After my spouse is like, what are you doing? Like, what, what was wrong with the nine to five you had? Like, some of you, your problem is not the blueprint. Not that you don't know what to do, but, 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 but you don't know how to, 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 to leverage that momentum. You don't know how to stay fired up seven days a week. 
You don't know how to do it. And so we're going to talk about how to increase your effort. And then I want to talk about changing your mind. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Bob Proctor, but Bob Proctor changed my life forever. And I'm talking about six, six, seven months ago, guys. Changed my life. I never forget speaking with Bob Proctor. My man's doing his thing. He's been, like, in my business, he, before uh, Zig Ziglar, before Anthony Robbins, before Les Brown, before Jim Rohn. This dude's been in the game 50 years. He was out with Nightingale. He sat me down. I'm talking about changing your mind. For real. Some of your mind, your mind needs to change. The program, the blueprint, everything is in place but your mind. You are in your way, and you got to get out of your way. Your mindset, and what you're doing is that you're working this new business with your old mindset. You've got a new opportunity, but you're approaching this opportunity as if it is something that you've done in the past, and you need a brand new perspective as you're dealing with this company. And so he said to me, E.T., we're, we're sitting down talking, I'm asking a series of questions, he said, E.T., why do you sell your book? Like, come on, E., you still selling books? And I'm like, what? Do you know where I come from? I'm from Detroit. I'm from the west side of Detroit. I went to Detroit Henry Ford. Nobody on my block is an author. How dare you? Like, I made a million-something dollars off a book. Like, what are you thinking about? He said, kid, you still selling books? You need to change your thinking. I'm thinking, what? He says, nobody makes money off of books except for the dudes who did Chicken Soup for the Soul. No, nobody, nobody makes billions of dollars off books. Nobody makes millions, of, multi-million dollars off books, kid. It just doesn't happen. I said, okay, well, what, what would you suggest I do? He said, I give my book away. I said, what do you mean by that? He said, yeah, I give my book away. And I give my book away, and I get an email address for it. And in return for the email address, I sign people up for my attention program online where I do real training and real development. And I, and I get an opportunity to spend real time with people and helping people every day. They go online and do as much as they like, and they're changed. And you know what? That's, that's $99 for some pack, the lowest package, $99. So you say, you do the math, $99 times 12. That's $1,200 versus $24 for a book. Think differently, Eric. Don't limit yourself. You've been doing this thing for 20 years. You got VHS from when you were 20, 22, 23. You, you, you got audio, MP3 files. I'm saying, come on, dude, we live in a technological society. Why would I, why would I put up tapes? He said, you know why? Because videos, I don't care how good they are, people can't travel with videos. They're still in their car. They're still at the airport. They're still on the plane. Like, people still listen to audio. And so what you need to do is put the stuff on, uh, on computer and, 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 and do ascension programs. And then I'll never forget, I went to Australia and I watched a guy who said the same thing to me. This guy wasn't as good as I was. He wasn't as passionate as I was, as driven as I was. But I watched this guy sell his programs, $5,000. I watched him sell to over 200 people and he made half a million dollars in less than two hours. He said to me, Eric Thomas, change the way you think. I know where you come from that's beat what you're doing. But now I want to introduce you to a new world. And so for some of you, man, you have an opportunity of a lifetime, but you got that same old mindset. You're thinking like you thought two, three years ago. Like, you are approaching this opportunity like it's a nine to five. You're approaching it like it's your old job. So, yeah, you quit. Yep, you stop. You quit your job. You're doing this full time. But you still had the same mindset. So you might as well still have a nine to five because you're operating on this new, exciting, unlimited opportunity with, with, in an in, in, in old traditional format. And so we're going to talk about how you change your mind because they said it, and it's, I, look, in less than six months, the Ascension program is up, and there are companies all across the country. And I was shocked. I did $99, and we did a diamond package for two ninety nine. and I'm telling you, only a few people bought the lowest package. 90% of the people bought the biggest package. Why? Because these are people who are interested in developing themselves and taking their game to the next level. And then the last one, guys, this is important. Increase, increase you. Get out of your way. You have to increase you. Listen to me very carefully. Some of you, you got to increase your skills. Right? You got to increase your knowledge. Like, I don't know what you need to increase, but what don't you know that you need to know to, to, to do what it is you dream of doing? What skill set do you need to have that you don't currently have right now? Yeah, you got the blueprint. Yep. You know exactly how to do it. You know when to make phone calls, what to do on Facebook, what to do on Instagram, what to do on Twitter. You got it. But you don't have a skill. Like, you, you don't have a skill set. 
So, so there's some things that you don't know. Maybe you don't know how to write. You don't know how to say it in a way that's appealing. You don't know how to say it in a way uh, uh, that is not a one size fits all. Because when you're dealing with people, you you ha- you have to give different people the same package in a different way. So, so what don't you know that you need to know that's killing you? That's really limited you. It's limiting you right now. What 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 don't you know that you need to know? What books should you be reading? What conferences should you be going to? What people should you be connected with? And then what skills don't you have? And so the PhD for me is not. I don't, I'm not interested in anybody calling me doctor. I'm a grown man. I don't I don't, I don't need a title. That title is not going to help me really make any more money. I'm not interested in the title. Then why are you getting a PhD? Because I realized when I became a better writer, I became a better communicator. When I became a better writer. But what the PhD made me do was immerse myself in ways, do research in ways I've never done it before. And so now there's more depth to my writing. There's more depth to my books. There's more depth to my message. I'm not giving out shallow messages anymore. So there was a time where I wanted to make twenty to fifty thousand dollars, but the, the depth of my message wouldn't allow me to make any more than twenty five hundred. So so when my depth changed, when my writing got better, when my reading got better, when my research got better, I became a better communicator. And before you knew it, I started doing voiceover work. So now I don't even have to travel or leave my house. I'm on the NFL countdown. I'm doing Major League Soccer, Major League Baseball, TNT. So, 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 guys, one of the things we have to do is we're gonna we're gonna talk about next 90 days. We're gonna increase your effort, right? We're gonna we're gonna redefine how you use your 24 hours, right? Then we're gonna change our mind. We're gonna start thinking like millionaires, thinking like billionaires, so that we can behave like millionaires and billionaires and speak like millionaires and billionaires and then finally we're going to ask we're going to increase you increase your skills what don't you know that you need to know what what's keeping you from growing and i'm going to be honest with you i'm going to be honest with you i god spoke to me and said to me you will never ever be what i want you to be until you forgive your father you will never ever grow until you forgive your father there's some things that until you understand forgiveness there's some areas that you'll never grow. As long as you keep that bitterness and that hurt, and there are those of you who are trying to be the next Tommy Felder without being the next. You're trying to do it financially, but you're not trying to do it in other ways. And trust me when I tell you, yes, he has the, the blueprint. Absolutely. 